Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Audacity, the free open source audio editor, even if you're a complete beginner. Audacity. It's cross-platform compatible, it's free, it's open source, it does a lot of stuff with audio. So how do you get started? Well, this is the screen that you'll usually see once you've finished installing the program on your computer. You can click Don't Show This Again at Startup on the How to Get Help with the Quick Help Manual Wiki and Forum. Click OK, you will never see that again. And you can just watch tutorials and find out more online. Uh, click the green button here on a Mac or the Maximize button to make it nice and full screen. And now we can see what we're working with. So the first section of Audacity I'm going to ask you to go to if you're a complete beginner is this section up here with the core audio, the microphone and the speaker. This is your input and output to Audacity. What are you using to get audio into the software and what are you going to use to listen back to the audio once you've recorded? So here we go with core audio, that's standard for a Mac, might be different on a PC. Next to the microphone, you select your input. That could be your built-in microphone on your computer, it could be a webcam microphone, or it could be an audio interface like I have, the Sapphire in this case, I will click. Here we've got an option to choose uh, channel, on our audio interface. Usually if you select something like built-in microphone, you only really get a mono or stereo option. Uh, but with a Sapphire, I've got a few extra inputs for stuff like keyboards and guitars if I want. Uh, so I'm gonna select mono because I just want one channel uh, and I'm not recording a, a stereo instrument. So one mono channel is fine. And then I need to choose the output. This could be your built-in computer output or it could be your audio interface output that you've got plugged into some external speakers. In my case, it's the audio interface face. So once that's all set up, you are ready to go ahead and record your first piece of audio into Audacity. How do you do that? It's super simple. You see these controls here? Uh, you will be familiar with them if you've used a tape recorder or anything else in the past. Uh, so the big red one, of course, is record. Shall we give it a go? Let's bring in the microphone and record something right now by clicking this button here. Hello, this is Mike. And you can see I'm not quite peeking because I need to turn my microphone up. And then when I do turn it up, you'll start to see my audio appears. Aha. Hello. This is Mike testing Audacity out. How are you today? Oh, it's looking wonderful. Okay. Thank you. And then I hit the space bar to stop, but you can also hit this stop button here. Now you'll notice something. When I do record, you'll see the levels appear up in the top next to the microphone. Watch this. I'm recording another track. And you'll see there that the levels are coming up to show you how loud you are. If you're going yellow or red, uh, then you're probably getting a little bit too loud. Now I can drop my play bar anywhere here. These are the, the times. So zero second, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. And as you can see, this is when I turned my microphone up and started speaking. I can play back some audio now. Oh, it's looking wonderful. Okay, thank you and you'll see I'm using play and stop, or you can just click where you want to play. Oh, it's looking Okay, thank you. As you can see, I'm clicking here anywhere in the time bar to play back audio. This is Mike testing or and clicking the stop button to stop. I can also start playing and pause. This is Mike testing or and then I've paused it. And then when I unpause, audacity out, you see the pause button works much in that fashion. You've also got rewind and fast forward buttons as well that will take you to the start or the end of your current track that you've recorded. Other than that, you have some level icons here which will allow you to turn up and down the input and output of the audio that is going in and out of Audacity. Uh, and that's really it. I mean, down here, you've also got some fantastic ideas uh, to use uh, to watch the timings of your audio. So as I play back from the start, Watch this. I'm recording another track. You'll see that the audio position time is updating there. Uh, you'll see if I select that the selection times appear there, but we'll go into that in more detail in a future tutorial. Uh, you've also got project rates and snap as well, which again, I will cover in a future Audacity tutorial on my channel. So make sure you subscribe and watch some more videos on my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this one and let me know how you get on with using Audacity. Leave a comment on this video and let me know and talk to other people who are also using Audacity.